What's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can make a full dropshipping store in less than five minutes using AI. Um, and I'm also going to give you a few tips at the end of the video to add trust to your store. So we're going to be looking at those different methods. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on glitching and find a product that we want to use. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using um, this electric makeup brush remover thing. Um, so yeah, so it's actually pretty easy. So once you've connected uh, your Shopify store to glitching, uh, we go on our product, product pages. So we just click on import product page. It's gonna bring us to this little menu here. We select a theme for our store. So in my case, I have a refresh, okay? So we click on refresh, import. So after a couple seconds, it'll import the product to our store. Now you're gonna wanna go on uh, Shopify. You're gonna go in products. You're going to see it's going to refresh and you're going to find the product over here. So we're going to click on it. You're going to scroll down here. You're going to go in team template and you're going to click on um, electric brush cleaner. It should be this one here, right? Uh, or whichever product that you imported. So you click on it and you do save. Go into uh, your online store. Customize. And then if we go in in your thing, you go you will find your product. So you're gonna see it's gonna be right here. And it had already generated the full uh, full website for you. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, you could edit some of the copy that's on it the way you want it. But for the purpose of this video, since we're just showing how to make a general product page, we could assume that it's good enough. Um, so this is what it looks like. It gives you kind of the, the template for for your thing. Now, I want to add some trust badges to this, right? So at the bottom here, you see we have free track and this is already included, right? So we have free track and include shipping and insured shipping. We have the returns and the money back guarantee, but we want to add a uh, payment trust badge as well. So how do you add a payment trust badge? You need to go into your Shopify apps and you're going to look for trust badges bear. Okay. Once you down, once you install this app, you click on it and you select the trust badges that you want to import uh, to your store. So in my case, I use the MasterCard, Visa, Apple Pay, American, Ex American Express, uh, Google Pay as well, and PayPal because where I'm from um, and where I'm selling the product, that are the, those are the main um, uh, methods of payment. So you're going to click on it and then in here you could select, you could kind of stylize it how you want. You have the, the fonts you use. Um, in my case, I'm not using I'm not using any header because I just want to show the logos. Um, you could show uh, the badges of the design of the badges, uh, the size of it, and the animation that plays. So, so yes, yeah, so you could even select the animation that you want to play. In my case, I used the slide in because it looks pretty smooth. All right, so once you have your trust badges uh, and they're ready, so you just simply uh, copy the uh, div class here, and then you go in your uh, in your store. And we want to add it uh, right after this uh, this card button here, right? All right. So once we're on our store, we're gonna do add block. We're gonna do custom liquid, and we're gonna paste the class that we had, and then we're gonna save. And it should show up right here. Okay. So that's one of the trust badges that we have. Um, another thing that's also really important to have on your website that adds more trust to it is having a banner slider. So what a banner slider is. Is basically it's gonna say as seen on and then you're gonna have TikTok logo Instagram logo you even have a Shark Tank logo uh, Forbes logo just to show that the product comes from like uh, comes from a place that is known so your clients once he sees or your customers when they see this you're gonna be kind of more uh, they're gonna be more likely to trust the website all right so next up we want to add uh, the slider that shows um, different logos here so to do that we're gonna go in uh, we're gonna go on this website here called pen.io. I'm, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, but basically you're gonna copy each and every one of these um, code blocks. You're gonna go on your um, on your product store page and we're gonna place it right after. And so right before all the descriptions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, you're gonna add a section called custom liquid. Okay, and you're gonna paste all the three codes into this box here. Now it's really important because if not, it's not gonna work. But um, so this is all the HTML part, right? So as soon as you get to the CSS code, 
you need to add a style with these brackets, okay? And then at the end of the CSS code, you gotta close, um, you gotta close the, the thing. So you need to add this, uh, the bracket and then style again, right? And then once we get to the JavaScript part, you need to put this section here, script, with the rest of it here, okay? Because if not, it's not gonna show up like this. It's gonna look all fucked up. So make sure you do that. And then you could edit inside this custom liquid. You could add images of different logos like I did over here and then change the words for, uh, for example, I put as seen on and then you have TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, Forbes, Apple News, Shark Tank, whatever, right? So that's gonna add more trust to your store and it's gonna lead to better conversions. And that's it, that's really it for, for creating a whole product page, right? So we started from glitching, imported the store from our products and then added a little trust badge and uh, the, the logo slider here. So then we could look at what it looks like on uh, your cell phone. So it's gonna look like this. So we have the trust badges here for payments and then we have the uh, logo slider, um, which adds you know more aesthetic to your website. And that's pretty much it. Then you could edit as much as you want, just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And yeah, that's it for the video guys. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all the things that I used here, uh, which includes the uh, glitching, the, the, the code, for the band slider and then uh, for for the trust badges of the payments you just need to download uh, the app that i showed you guys which is called um trust badges bear on your shopify right so let me know in the comments what you think if you have any questions obviously let me know in the comments and like don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video ciao